Yes, let me turn it around. One second. Oh, um, I think I think we're okay. Hi everyone, I'm Kim, CEO and co-founder of Curl Mix. This is Aisha of Black Girl Curls and 30 Day Hair Detox. And today we are gonna show you how she achieves a bomb wash and go on color treated hair. Yes. So uh, as you guys get in here, tell us where you're from. If you're watching the replay, write replay down at the bottom. Um, and today we're going to be giving away giveaways all throughout the live. And so, uh, yes, hi, Taryn. Taryn's under the Curl Mix um, account. Hey, Marilyn, how are you? Where are you from, Marilyn? Teresa, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Lakeisha says, hey, hey, Teresa. Uh, hey, Shirley, how are you guys? I'm going to go ahead and wipe off my camera just to make sure you guys can see me well, okay? Boom, that's a little better, I think. Uh, Stephanie from Atlanta. Hey, Stephanie, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Viola says hello. Kayla says hi, everyone from Georgia. Welcome, you guys. So today we have a beautiful display to show you guys our products. Oh, Sonia is a curl mixer. Hey, Sonia, how are you? Stephanie Major from Philly. Stephanie's back. Stephanie comes back every week. We love you for it. Uh, Tatiana says hello. Hi, Tatiana. Hi, Ernestine. Welcome, you guys. So today we are giving away, we're gonna have six giveaways and they're a bit more organized and it's not gonna be the numbers this time, you guys, okay? No numbers because people were in my inbox cussing me out last time, like, girl, you need to cut it with these numbers. Erica says, hi, hey, Deborah, hey, Deborah Mack. Uh, she yes, you made it. Hey, Mabel, hey, Erica. Um, hey, Maria, hey, so where are you guys checking in from? Put your city down there. Hey, Ariam, welcome, you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And I'm just gonna show you guys what we're giving away today. So I'm gonna turn my camera around. So look, we have six curl mix boxes. And anyone who buys anything tonight on our website gets this free tote with your order. Yes, this is really cute and sturdy. I've had these for years and they work really, really well. So you'll get that just for purchasing and you get 20% off if you use the code chocolate. Yes, chocolate, just the way you spell it, no special capitalization. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna introduce, introduce you guys to Aisha. Aisha, let us know who you are. Hi guys, my name is Aisha. I am the co-founder of Black Girl Curls. I'm also co-owner in this space that we're in tonight, the Curl Society in Chicago. I am also a licensed cosmetologist. I also am a like sort of a blogger. <laughs> <laughs> I am a blogger actually um, and went to cosmetology school. And so tonight, like Kim told you, I'm gonna be sharing like how I do my very <laughs> high lift, um, high density hair. Um, this is something <laughs> that I've been doing myself for quite some time. So I'll share some tips with you guys. So I did one half of my head uh, before Kim actually got here, I'm sitting in the dryer in fact. So <laughs> yes, she was. I dried this side. So there's still conditioner on this side of my head. I'm actually going to rinse this out. So this is the conditioner. This is what I'm telling you about here. Uh, uh, we were having a conversation about conditioner before we went on, but you can see that the, um, the conditioner is still there, is ever present. It's a very thick conditioner. So, how do we get started with these wash and goes? And the reason why I use myself, one, because I have color treated hair. The other reason I use myself is because most of y'all are doing y'all own hair. Like, right. you ain't got no hairstylist at home. Do Actually, I don't either. Like, Kristen does my color, and I'm always doing my own hair, because she's like, I can't detangle your hair. So, I'm just going like, <laughs> to so, Shirley says, we sound so crisp and clear. Yolanda says, hey, y'all. Hey, Yolanda. Yes. Tony says, hey, Chicago. Yes. Somebody, Courtney says, pretty color. Thank you. Um, oh, you guys, don't forget to share the live. So people have so many questions about color treated hair, and today we have an expert in the house. So this is going to be really helpful for your girlfriend who's thinking about color treating her hair um, and who wants to do wash and goes and wear her hair out. So definitely share it. And you have to share to win. So if you want to win any one of those six boxes over here tonight, you guys, any one of these, you got to share. Yes, share the love. Okay, let me read some more comments. Kay Robinson says, hi. Hey, Michaela from Opelika, Alabama. Mm, that's new. Mm -hmm. Teresa says, Newport News. Yeah, it's from Newport News out of Virginia. Hey, Rainey. Hey, Kaylin. Hey, Tiffany Baker from Dallas. Hey, and don't I'm forget... Weekend. Oh, yes. Black Girl Curls will be in Dallas this weekend. So that's Aisha and Elise. You guys are going to be teaching. We're teaching a class. Um, in fact, we're still looking for models. They're teaching a class and they're still looking for models. Um, you got an email? Uh, they can email curl at cutitkinky.com. Yes. If you want to be a model this weekend in Dallas, Texas, email. Oh, let me it's, it's preface. You have to be open to cut and color. I'm sorry, cut and style. <laughs> and, style. and when we say cut, we're talking about something that's going to uh, refine what you already have. So it's not necessarily we're trying to give you a TWA or 
trying to give you a taper. We want to refine what you already have. So a couple things I want to say about color treated hair. Let me turn this water. <laughs> color does not ruin curls, okay? Like, say it with me. Color does not ruin curls. That is one of the biggest myths that is running rapid throughout the natural hair community. But that is a not true. I've been color treated. I have been a blonde for an entire year. Other than the fact that I fell off of my haircuts, nothing's wrong with my hair. And yes, this part of my hair is actually naturally, this, I'm a loose wavy in the front. So what would I classify myself on the chart? I can't, because I'm loose back, I'm loose in the front. I'm actually a wee bit tighter in the back. Let me see if I can find. Yeah, I got like tight waves, loose waves, and tight curls. That's why I can't get with the chart. Because it'd be like, I'm this, I'm this, I'm, no. Yeah, Ali, <laughs> Aisha's all over. <laughs> <laughs> so my hair is loose in the front. It looks and appears like this right now. It doesn't dry. And eventually, actually, when I do my wash and goes, this is the part I would consider my soul patch. So the soul patch. The soul patch. Yeah. <laughs> the soul patch is the one area of your hair that you have to work a little bit with, like to get water into it, to kind of smooth it out, because it's usually frizzy. Mine just doesn't come out until like the flip end of it when I actually style my hair. So it dehydrates. It gets frizzy, and then there's like some curls hanging out in there. But so, Aisha, you said something that like I have just never believed. So that color, does, so uh, clarify for me. You said it does not ruin curls, mm -hmm. right? Does it? Is there damage? So I had a friend tell me that like when you color treat your hair, that. Well, one, she said that any time that you manipulate your hair, it is some form of damage. Well, then that means relaxing damage to our hair. Yes. Yes. So does using tools. Yes. Every, basically, <laughs> yes. Using combing your hair is damaged, and like some small form is what is what is what. I, but but um, color is like a bit more. But it can you can still maintain your curl pattern. But it's just like there it's a are, chemical treatment it's essentially. It's a chemical treatment, but that means that what you have to change is your care. Mm, I think okay. The same thing that I was doing on my regular, regular dark brown hair. Yeah. On this hair. Right. Because this hair requires right. more care. So right. it's like you went from you know. I always say, I always tell people it's like a newborn baby. You right. have a newborn baby that you have to take care of. You have to nurture and take, yes. Yes. If you're abusive to it, then it is not going to hold on. Now, Elise, different story. Elise can be real abusive. That's my partner. <laughs> my girl, Pearl Streets. She is also color treated. Oh, and when she says partner, she don't mean like her girlfriend, y'all. With clarification. Her work partner. Yes. Her work partner. But she's also, um, she's light underneath all those colors because that's the only way those uh, fantasy colors will come out. So, like, you would have to literally be this light to get fantasy colors. So, mm. you want pink hair. You yeah. want blue hair. You want green fantasy hair. Fantasy colors. I like yes. that. It's a fantasy color. So, if you want fantasy colors, you have to go this light. To get oh, fantasy. and just correction that me, me saying that that was not her girlfriend was not uh, <laughs> any shade to anybody in uh, same sex relationships. Because I do, because we support love. <laughs> so, love, love. just so, yeah, love is love. To point that out about color. It doesn't run curls. Does it change a bit? Like my hair, like I said, this is already loose. It's a little bit looser, but it's not to the point where I'm like, oh my God, my curls are damaged. Right, right, I'm right. I'm going to put some gel on it. I'm keeping moving. Gotcha. So, let me read some of these comments. I'm, I'm behind, but it says, so Shaz SMK says, I follow Aisha on Instagram and came here to watch this video. Thank you for joining. Sean Watson says, hello from Sumter Cows. Uh, South Carolina by way of Phoenix, Arizona. Angel says, hello, Mississippi. I just got my first curl mix yesterday. I used it today. It didn't work as good as I thought, but I'm going to use it again. I had a short TWA. That's kinky coily. Um, and I love the bag. Oh, thank you, Angela. So, Angela, hopefully we can get you some tips today to teach you uh, how to use your products. A lot of our customers have success on the second time because it does take some know-how, um, as does any wash and go, especially on kinky hair. Um, Deb says, hey, curl mixers. Kamiko says, no issues with color treated hair over here. Thanks for sharing, Kamiko. Deja says, share. Thank you guys for sharing. Um, Angie said, from Atlanta, welcome. Donna is from, uh, oh, she down attacked her friend. <laughs> and oh, she said, this is the live I told you about. I love this method. Thanks, y'all. <laughs> Courtney says, I'm interested in that. 
Deja says her hair is so healthy. Oh, yes, yes. Yes for healthy hair. Let me see some hearts, you guys. Um, yes, Elise says you guys will be in Dallas uh, teaching Cut It Kinky for Professionals. Yes, so check them out. Uh, Lisa is also her partner in crime. Like, not crime, but <laughs> in curls. Her partner in curls. How about that? <laughs> um, Deb from Rhode Island, welcome. Yes, Elise at cutitkinky.com. Uh, yes. Uh, let's see. Alita says, hi, it took me long enough to be able to get here. Welcome, Lolita. Alita says, must be open to cut and style. Yes, if you want to be a model for them in Dallas, you must be open to getting your hair cut and styled. Um, Natasha from Schaumburg, hello Elizabeth, Basilia, uh, Fairweather, uh, hello from Providence, Rhode Island. So are we adding conditioner to the hair? No, actually no. I just rinsed the conditioner out. I'm actually out of the gel now. So me and Kim were talking earlier about yes. gel. I'm learning today <laughs> with um, Aisha, y'all. Aisha do some different stuff. <laughs> So we were talking about the gel because I gotta make sure I have the right one because you remember the last time I had put the uh, moisturizer on my model? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> last time we did a, um, an event together and I she was doing a demo and she was laying the moisturizer on thinking it was the gel and she was like, girl, it is not working. This is a bad batch of product. I'm like, no, Aisha, that's the moisturizer. <laughs> it was no definition. It was funny. So, um, Curl Mix is a flaxseed base gel, and flaxseed is a humectant. What does that mean? A humectant is something that draws moisture in, because guess what we're looking for? Moisture, and moisture comes from water. So it is drawing in the moisture, the water, into the hair. So I'm actually applying the gel first. Now I know, because Kim was saying, no, I use the moisturizer first. And I'm like, no, you want to use the humectant first, because you want it to draw the water into your hair. If you put the moisturizer on for first, you're actually putting a barrier over the hair and you're also like not allowing the gel to uh, perform like it should. The gel is your holding product. So you put your holding product for, on first. You, it's like a house. You build the foundation of the house first before you start picking out kitchens and granite countertops. And so stuff. for other people, for normally a gel has like lots of salts and things in it and things that are, I guess, going to give the hair a ton of hold, but they're not necessarily um, like he humectin like chromix is gel. Can you explain that or like the difference um, or why our gel is more so of a humectant? Some of the other products on the market or other gels that are available on the market, they have uh, oh, can, can we see the uh, pro There we go. Sure. Thank you. So I'm using the, uh, which one is it? The lavender fragrance. One. Yes. And this is one I already have, so don't look at how much I'm using. <laughs> this is a bottle that I already have. <laughs> <laughs> So a lot of the other products, when you read the ingredients on the products, um, I'm going to look at curl mixes. So just water is always first. And then there's something like there might be like a carbamore or yeah. um, trying to think of another ingredient that, but there's all these other ingredients that, that don't allow moisture get into, your, get into your hair. So you want to look for something that is a humectant base. So humectant base would be flaxseed. Mm -hmm. Aloe is a humectant base. Yes, aloe. Mm -hmm. um, so it's honey. Yeah, honey's definitely humectant. So yes. those are things you want to look for in your gel. So I'm putting that on first for the reason of... And you see, she's rubbing the gel out, right? Yeah. So like, this you is so interesting. You want to emulsify. Mm, you okay. want to emulsify in your hand because when you distribute, you're not just distributing it in your palms, you're distributing, distributing the product from your whole hand. And you want to make sure this hair is wet. So I'm making sure I get it on the roots because y'all know puffy roots. Y'all hate them. Y'all don't take care of them. <laughs> so we want to make sure we get those roots. And if this hair back here is not wet enough, what you do, because I know y'all be doing this from the shower, just pretend like this is a shower head. And I know it's going really fast. I'm going to turn it down a little. But you want to just kind of dip your head underneath like that. Real quick. <laughs> so quick draw McGraw. <laughs> so you get some more water in there. But I want to make sure I hit those roots. Awesome, awesome. So I'm putting a little bit more gel in my hand, hitting up these roots, hitting up the roots, hitting up the roots, smoothing out this entire section. This and then I'll squeeze it a little, but squeeze it into your hair. So when you squeeze, you're not losing the product, but it's going into your hair. Mm. So you don't lose the product. It's still, you know, pretty much there. This is a really big section. Like, wow, I'm just impressed. <laughs> I don't do my, I can't do my hair like, like my sections. I have to have like about eight. It, you know, that's the big sections for me. <laughs> it's eight sections. So I can do it in anywhere from one to three. I'm sorry, two 
to three, mm-hmm. I probably do it at the most four sections. I can work in, but I can do two. Mm, okay, okay, Today good. Today I can do two because I actually really detangled my hair really well. So we put the gel on, we've rubbed it through, it's on there. Now, if you feel like, mm, I don't have enough, or it's looking at, oops, it's not dry, because look, it's, it sounds like squeaky gym shoes. So you want the hair to sound like squeaky gym shoes. So you said she wanted your hair to scr- sound like squeaky gym shoes. Yep, it should sound just like, it sounds like um, macaroni and cheese when, you, when you're mixing it. Oh my gosh, I'm such a yum yum. <laughs> Let me see some hearts if y'all thought that was real yum yum ish. <laughs> I'm just gonna add a little bit more for good faith because I'm and Lisa's probably like, oh my god, she's using so much product. But I, I have to make sure because that's one of the things for me that could be a problem if I don't add enough, I'm gonna be in trouble. So I think I have enough product in there. And so what then I'm gonna do is bring in the moisturizer and put the moisturizer on, on top. So again, flaxseed gel, humectant, dry and moisture. I'm gonna put this moisturizer on that has, it has what? <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm looking for the ingredients. It has avocado butter, jojoba oil, glycerin. So these are things that would be considered anti-humectants, meaning that it's like a force field over the hair. I'm protecting it from the environment. Right now in Chicago, it's rainy. I haven't been outside all day, so I don't know what it's like now. What was it like when you came in? Uh, it was raining. Was it dry? Was it It was moist? wet. It was wet outside. So the atmosphere is moist. So what's going to happen actually when it's moist outside, the atmosphere is actually going to add water to your hair. It's going to reactivate your product. Yes. Because this is a, again, it's a humectant product. Mm-hmm. So the, it's, the water in the atmosphere is going to reactivate the hair. So you want to go through. I usually do vertical sections. Mostly on my clients, and I try to do it on myself. Sometimes that doesn't happen, to be honest. With my fingers. Whoop, I almost fell. <laughs> a little bit more moisturizer because my hair is kind of, my hair is blocked sometimes. Just need a little something. There we go. Provide some extra slip. Cool. And in vertical section. I'm going to add just a wee bit of moisturizer. Because this moisturizer actually is kind of wet. It's not. It's, it's hard to explain, but it's a very wet moisturizer. <laughs> So I'm going to read some of these comments. Um, Elizabeth says, I think I'm going to go color. I'm a little behind, y'all, so bear with me. My, uh, Kaylin says, my mom has jet black hair, and her hair is very sensitive to color. Um, Elizabeth says, hi from Australia. Woo, woo, welcome from Australia. Kamiko says, let a professional handle that color. <laughs> yes. Yes, Kamiko, let a professional handle the color. Oh, I like the way your curls are shaping up. Yeah, it looks good. Um, Deborah, Max, Deborah Max says, how long was her hair when she colored it? Oh, God. I mean, it wasn't that much longer than it is right now. So about, the, about a similar length. Again, the picture that's actually on the uh, flyer for curl mix, that was when I colored my hair originally. Oh, okay. The, so the picture on the flyer for tonight, um, Washing a Wednesday, is on the flyer, you guys. So that's yeah. what her, I'm sorry, the flyer is what her hair was after she first colored it. Yeah, and that was last year, last July. And that was last July. Lori says, Texas in the house. What's up, Lori? Kiera says, hello from Australia. Definitely here for this video as I need some help. No one out here can handle or tame my mane. Oh, I'm sorry. Um... <laughs> Karen says, I'm here and ready to win. Yes, Karen. Okay, so we're going to, as soon as um, Aisha's done with this section, because remind you, this section was already done. This section is dry, right, you guys? So this What's section about, is dry. It's actually about, I'll say it's actually more like, it's about 80% dry. 80% dry. Yeah, the top part is definitely dry. You can touch your camera right here. Gotcha. All right. Yeah, so it's dry and soft. But 80% dry and soft. Mm-hmm. And then this side is the wet side that we're working on. Right. Yes. Because we wanted to make sure we could finish within the hour. So, you know, we were <laughs> no, like. I actually finish. Like, this is it. Like, it, uh, honestly, like, wash your goals, depending on the, the length of your hair, like your shower time. If I did this in my shower, it would take me about 45 minutes from shampoo to side. Mm, that's good. That's really good. Yeah, because, again, you're using that water. The steam in the bathroom is amazing because that micronized water is actually adding more moisture back into your hair. So again, it's all about getting water into the strands um, and stuff like uh, silicones or using products that have lots of fillers and things and it can block your hair. Oh, and y'all, y- y- the friends out there, the curlies out there who are using shampoo, 
Oh, let me see some hearts if you don't use shampoo. But yeah. I feel like if you're on this channel, you're using shampoo because we even, we tell everybody to shampoo and condition you before you're doing this. Yeah, there's no way that people could use botanical products and not shampoo. Yeah. It, especially us black girls. I'm just going to be put it out there. We use a lot of like oil and butter based products and those oil and, oil and butter based products cannot be completely removed with just water, which is why you need shampoo to come in and get that stuff up and water rinses it away. So you guys, I have a lot of comments that I am have to, I'm going to have to miss because <laughs> I'm going to do our first giveaway. Let me see if you guys some hearts if you guys are ready for our first giveaway. Yes? Yes? Let's do a giveaway. Y Let's do a giveaway. Okay, okay. So I got my notes so that we can go through this quickly. I know people be fussing at me. You know, y'all forget. This stuff is free. <laughs> oh, please be nice. I'm, I'm out. My screen loads differently than everyone else's. Um, and so I can only see what I see. So I'm going to do our first giveaway, you guys, right? The first person to type this word after my countdown from 10 will be our winner. And it has to be spelled correctly with the proper um, capitalization and everything. And let me show you guys what you're going to win. So our first winner is going to win, let me turn the camera around, our wash and go set with our jojobas. This is what we're working with today, you guys. Yes. That was, this is what we're working with. Woo, woo, woo. So we got the pure, um, the pure flaxseed gel with jojoba oil and our pure avocado moisture with ho organic jojoba oil and lavender fragrance. Let me see some hearts if y'all ready. Oh, don't forget to share. If you don't share, you can't win, you guys. And our team, they check. Okay, so Kim, you're, you're bomb for even giving products away. Thank you. Viola says, I'm ready. Sean says, I'm ready. Love your hair. And don't forget to share, you guys. Don't forget to share. Karen says, we love you. No worries. Thank you. Deb says, love you, Kim. Oh, all the hearts. I love you, girl. We love you. Yes, that was sweet. I appreciate it. Okay. All right. So the first word is, oh, let me count. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, curl mixer. All right, let me see. Let me see, let me see. Uh, and Facebook loads differently, so I just, I'm gonna go with whatever I see, you guys. Thank you guys for the heart. Ready to do it, girl? I'm ready. I'm so, uh, nope, Maria, it's not curl mix. Uh, curl mix is not spelled with two. Oh, Stephanie Smith is our first winner. Yeah. Uh, yay, give it up for Stephanie, you guys. She spelled curl mix correct. I'm sorry, Karen. I'm sorry, Dora. Sorry, D. So the other two before, Maria, you spelled curl mix. It's curl mixer. And D Love, you wrote curl mixer with two X's. It's just one X. All right, you guys, clap it up. So in order to claim your prize, you have to email us at info at curlmix.com and you have to screenshot at the end of this live that says this live has ended in order to get your prize, okay? Okay? So make sure you do that. It's all good. Thanks, Karen. Um, some of the Chromebooks are still loading. Um, Michelle, everybody, it's a lot of submissions. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. But congratulate Stephanie Smith. Yes, yes. I'm going to do another one. So I'm doing back to back, okay? Back to back. Back to back? No. <laughs> okay, so our next one, you guys. Let me turn the camera around. Our next winner is going to get our most popular. This one has the vanilla berry fragrance, and it also has um, organic castor in it. And don't worry, it's not going to be too heavy because the castor is less than 5% of the product. So don't worry about it weighing down your hair or um, not working well with your wash and go. Okay, you guys? And it's our most popular fragrance um, and product on the website. Like, it has over 50-something reviews for just, like, just the one. So, people love it. All right, you guys, so the next one, the next person, the next word you guys are going to have to spell. I'm going to go ahead and count down. Are y'all ready? Let me see some hearts. And don't forget to share. You got to share to win. Maybe next time. Congratulations. Yes, yes, Ariam. Deja, yay, Stephanie. Yes, congratulations to Stephanie. That is so nice. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate you. Um, okay, yay, Stephanie. Um, oh, my, I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, I see some hearts. Make sure you share in order to win, because when we check back, we're going to make sure you share in order to win your prize, okay? You ready? You want to count down for me, Aisha? Sure. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The word is shapopin'. 
<laughs> and you know how to spell your poppin' if you've seen a Facebook ad or if you've seen any of our videos, you can spell your poppin', okay? And somebody wrote flaxseed. They thought that was a good one. <laughs> I appreciate you, Shalonda. That's cute. That's somebody so cute. wrote uh, your poppin', and you gotta spell it with the proper apostrophes and stuff, y'all. I have a mm mm mm. There's a way we do it. There's a way we do it. I see some folks writing your poppin', but it's not the, the way that I, we spell it. If you you gotta spell it the way we spell it, with the proper apostrophes. Oh Lord! I know they're gonna be mad. They're gonna be mad. I'm just I gotta you gotta do it. You gotta do it. Mm. No, I'm I'm waiting to see it. I didn't see like ten of them. They, they spelled it the way I would have. Yes, but it's missing without, some of the apostrophes. Without watching. Yeah. Oh yeah, you gotta you gotta. All right, Angela. Angela Williams. Yay, Angela. She's got the yes. Yeah, she's got the apostrophe in there. It is she popping. Okay, so when your wash and go is killing, it is she popping. Let me see some. <laughs> let me see some uh, hearts, you guys. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Let me see some hearts for Angela, y'all. Yes. Congratulate her. Yes. And let me see. Do y'all want to do? Y'all want to do um, one more? I said no numbers, but I'm going to do one number. <laughs> just, just one. Just one. One with the numbers, okay? Just one, okay? Uh, let me see some uh, hearts if y'all want to do some numbers. I'm going to get no hearts for that one. But before I do the numbers, I'm going to cut back to Aisha, okay? I'm mad about those numbers. I saw one of the like, they were mad. They were mad about those numbers. Nothing I can do about it, though. So, once you've gotten the styling product in, this is something you can do in the shower, actually. Uh, what I did using the um, nozzle from the shampoo bowl is totally can be done from your shower. What I normally suggest or recommend my clients to do is basically slap all those products on while you're still in the shower because if you need to dip back into the uh, the shower head to get more water, you can get more water. And then I clip, usually I'll clip my hair up, get out of the shower, and then kind of work it in just a little bit more. If you need to spray a little bit more, I always say try to spray the bottle. If you don't have a clear saw, Spray it literally at the root so that the water kind of just like drizzles down instead of beating up on the hair because I know that happens to a lot of you because it happens to me because I'm low porosity. That's one tip. Also, like some of you guys have tighter curls. If you're somebody who uh, has tighter curls, you can shake. Oh yes, shake, shake, shake. Yeah, so I can get shake, shake, body. shake. And I have to do a, a little more of a Beyonce swing, like a Beyonce was natural. <laughs> so I'm, a, I'm a swinger because sometimes my hair gets a little like caught up with itself, so I'll swing it just a bit or just in the back, just to kind of loosen it up. So if you're loose wave, you're a swinger. If you're a loose wave and tight wave. <laughs> You gotta make a choice. <laughs> <laughs> now you can shake it and then go back and hit that spot that's more loose so you can get that hair back together, but, um, or you can just not shake it off. So that's another option. But the shaking helps to loosen up the ends because a lot of times when we have tighter curls or tighter waves, the hair kind of wants to love on each other. And the only way to get it to loosen up without having to use your fingers to do it is just to shake all the hair at one time. Now, drying. I know y'all love air drying. Y'all think air drying is bae. Let me so see some cool. hearts if y'all want to air drive. Like, girl, I'm not picking up no diffuser <laughs> or blow dryer to do my hair. She telling me to put heat on my hair? Absolutely not. So there's indirect heat and there's direct heat. So direct heat would be your blow dryer with the concentrator or without the concentrator. That would be a flat iron, a curling iron, a curling wine. Those are direct heat, meaning that the heat is going to be directly on your hair. Diffuser, hooded hair dryers, those are indirect heating items. So, I'm more of a hair dryer girl. I always recommend sending the dryer at least until you can get the outside of the hair dry. And the reason why uh, I suggest or recommend that, and Elise will agree with me on this, one, your set's gonna last longer, Two, Somebody says sit under the dryer while doing makeup. <laughs> or check your Facebook or watch it check live. Your, yes, or watch it live, <laughs> or check your Facebook. So your, your hair is going to last longer. It's going to dry the hair where it is. So it doesn't have the opportunity to shrink just yet. It's going to shrink, but it won't be shrunken today. So it locks the hair exactly where it is. Y'all see my hair over here? Like it's where it is. Now, is this where it will live the next I don't know, five or seven days? Yeah, Absolutely probably not. not. Nope. It's gonna lift up, it's gonna start to dehydrate. So it does that, and it also gives the hair some, a bit of shame. Like, because it's locking in those products where they are, you see my hair right here, it 
looks kind of shiny. Like, mm-hmm. I don't technically really have shiny hair, especially being a blonde, because my hair actually is absorbing the light. So yeah. Just naturally, it, it's not shiny, but it looks, you know what I mean. So, that's the reason why I'm like pro hair dryer. If you don't have a hood hair dryer, you need to get one. Put it on your Christmas list, put it on your birthday list. Put it on the Amazon wish list. You need a hair dryer. So today we are going to put you under the dryer? Yeah, I can put you under the dryer for a bit. Okay. So you guys can see like what that process is. Yep, like. most people want to see the end result. So, so let me go to the dryer because my hair does take a little time to dry. Uh, yes. <laughs> And while she's sitting under the dryer, we will do some more giveaways. Let me see some hearts if y'all want to see some more giveaways, yes? And I can read you guys' comments. <laughs> oh. Yes. I love their shop, you guys. Look, she's on um, the wall of, like, clients and the wash and goes that they do. Isn't this pretty? Oh, yeah. oh, goes. Yep. Isn't this beautiful? Oh, I love it. Uh, let me see some hearts because I think this like this wa- wall art wall is like beautiful. <laughs> yes, and I'll just get up and close it. Look at that texture on these different clients. Yeah, all curls. Yes, all type curls, moves. all curl types, different Wait. ages, different Wait. colors. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so I'm gonna read some of these comments, you guys. So we got Aisha under the dryer. Yes, I'll sit down. And I'm gonna turn around and let me, I'm gonna go back and read <laughs> some. Um, Deidre says, I always air, um, air dry my hair. So maybe now you use a tool, Deidre. Yes? Yes. Oh, and you guys, don't forget, you get 20% off when you use the code chocolate tonight. Uh, so chocolate is for Chocolate Curls Beauty, which is Aisha's name on Instagram. Yes? So when you guys, everybody's a winner tonight. If you don't win or if you're like, Ryan, I got time to sit on this live for the whole hour, you can just use the code and get 20% off, which is probably one of the deepest discounts you'll see on our site. Um, so enjoy until midnight. So after midnight, that code is gone, okay? Um, Jennifer says air dry is easier for me. Um, I understand that, Jennifer. I do. But the thing about the air drying is your style won't last as long, so you're going to be doing your hair sooner without setting it um, than you would if you had set it already. Sean says, the problem is I have my hair as thick and it takes hours or all day to dry. Girl. Too much product. Uh, <laughs> she said too much product. Too much product. It, that's normally, it's, yeah, if it takes too long to dry, is she air drying it though? Cause, Probably. Yeah, air drying is going to take all day. And then if you yeah, for me in too. a climate that is moist yeah. and you're air drying your hair, then the, that climate or the atmosphere is adding water to the water that's already in your hair, and then that's going to add time. So mm. if you live in a moist climate, like say maybe um, what was a moist Georgia? Climate? Yeah, kind of moist. Yeah, you live in a, in a place like Georgia, and Elise can attest to this. She's I know she's in the comments. Drying is gonna actually help, kind of um, like put a barrier between your hair and all the moisture that's um, in the atmosphere, even though, because again, we're using products that are humectants, they're still gonna get activated by the moisture in the air regardless. But at least you had a nice set when you started out to begin with. Gotcha, so I'm gonna keep reading some of these comments. Um, Kenyatta says, that air drying is foolish to me now. (laughs) (laughs) Array says, I have no choice but to air dry, I don't own a diffuser. Okay, all right, well, you know, we're working on that. (laughs) Right, Deidre says, I don't like any heat on my hair. That's Deidre, your understanding of heat may be a little gyrated by the internet. And so yeah. I think the natural hair All heat is not made equal. Right. And I think they they made a mistake in that messaging about heat being harmful. The hair dryer, if you look at it, like there's holes all throughout here. So the, the actual heated air is up inside of this shell and these little holes are allowing that heat to kind of blow around. So there's no direct heat ever on my hair. I can turn this dryer up to the highest temperature. And, and Aisha has been using a blow, I mean a hair dryer for how many years? Since I was 13. Since she was 13. <laughs> so like, you know, just to clarify, like all heat is not made equally. Now no. this is not the same as like a flat iron or something like that. A flat iron, like that over that's, time. That's direct heat. Direct heat. I mean, even over time though, Kristen has clients that she uh, does blowouts on and they go back to their curls. There are no issues. Mm. But that is a, that's a technique. Yeah. That's more technique than anything. And care. So if they're doing everything that Kristen says for them to do at home, then they have no issues with their curls. So Brenda says, I need a good satin silk bonnet. And any recommendations? Um, I'm not a bonnet girl. Uh, you're not a bonnet girl? <laughs> no, you just got a pillow? Both. 
Buff, okay. I use a bonnet, so I mean, I, I feel like I get my bonnet anywhere. There's yeah, so many places. Bonnet. The bonnet for me, like my hair ends up being way more messier. Gotcha. So buff, actually, it's like a, I call it a swaddle for hair. Yeah. My hair is like this in the buff, it doesn't move. It's gotcha. It's in the morning. That's cool. I might look like Frederick Douglass when I take it off. Uh, <laughs> but that's just not, nothing that fluffing can't change. Yeah, I feel like my hair doesn't move, because I have a, but my hair is a different kind of hair. Like my hair is kinky and like, it stays. You know, curls are tight. Yeah. And they're, they're, they're tight and small. Yeah. And they're all this. And then your hair is really dense. Yeah. Like yeah. Kim has all the hair, guys. Like, oh. <laughs> uh, Jenna says uh, one side of my hair is curlier than the other so it always looks uneven that's so that's why I use the blow dryer because I will just stretch the side that's not as like as long as I want it to look because uh, my ends my sides of my hair curl up tighter than like the front of my hair so I have to kind of make the look more even sometimes um and the cut will fix it in the cut yeah yeah yeah. that's true my hair is growing out so i need to get um my cut when at least because i can tell yeah definitely gotta work on that back in november you better catch it right i'm gonna have to book her because you're gonna be booked up for holiday season shalonda says um me either um jennifer says i like both air dry and blow dry but i air dry the most courtney says um oh grace elaye as a slap cap i think donna says difference between leave-in and moisturizer please um, leave it, okay, so okay, so I didn't use a leave-in, I'm, and I yeah. never do use a leave-in for washing those. And the reason why is because most of the leave-ins that we're all using are very heavy in oils and butters. Yeah. And so if the purpose of the wash and go is to hold the curls, then I want to use the holding product first right. on my hair. If I put the leave-in, and I actually, it's so funny, I think I just did something recently. I did, I actually used a product that I haven't used in forever, mm -hmm. but it was a certain way I use it. And I actually would use a cream first mm -hmm. and then put that gel on. And literally in two days, my hair was back frizzy. And I was just like, this is when I had the epiphany. Because at least, I t me and Elise have been having going back and forth about this discussion for like a Elise is right here. Go ahead, do it again. Right. She's, she's back and forth. Right, right, right over here. Yeah, this is Elise. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> going back and forth for a year because actually on my clients, I do it the way that we've talked about. But I, on my hair, I I've always done some type of cream first. And I know why a lot of people are doing it because for me, it's more so like I have a coarse hair. You're like, how do I get right through it? Like if I put the product on, it's like my hair is kind of stuck. That's why I put the gel on first, got it in real good. And I came behind it with that moisturizer and put the moisturizer on to help like create more slip. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're using leave-in because of this idea of slip. But you want to put your holding product on first always before you put anything else on your hair and using something again that is a humectant based product like curl mix it's flaxseed based flaxseed is a humectant it's going to draw moisture into your hair and then you'll put that moisturizer on over it to kind of create like a barrier between your hair and the environment so you guys, I am going to get back to the giveaway. So I'm going to do one more giveaway, um, and then we're going to come back. We'll probably do two more giveaways. Let me see some hearts. You guys want to see some giveaways? Yes. And I'm going to read some of these comments on my way back to do the giveaway. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of comments, Aisha. There's a lot of comments. Oh yes, Elise is going to look at her um, the comments. She might even text something while she's sitting under the dryer. Yes. Yes. And I am going to get back to the product so we can do our giveaways. Um, no heat air dry all day. Uh, I, don't, I used to air dry, you guys, I don't do it anymore uh, because my styles wouldn't last as long and the, it wouldn't hold the style. So uh, I do both with another dryer today. Um, Elise says, the ingredients of the two are different. Leave-in has fatty acid conditioning agents. Um, Tony, where's the shop? Sh Tony, um, look under the curl mix title or the icon and that's, uh, we should have written it somewhere. <clears throat> but if you can go to Chocolate Curls Beauty on Instagram and you can book an appointment directly from our Instagram page. Um, I need to figure out how to get my curls to fall, says Crystal, the curls are so tight. Uh, Crystal, do your washing on the shower. Um, and remember, healthy hair shrinks. Uh, so you're, with washing goals, usually the goal is more definition than anything. Um, because you can't, unless you're using heat, you can't really stretch the curl. So people are like, oh, this product doesn't elongate my hair or something like that. And it's, that's not what the product does. The product just helps define the curl. You elongate it usually with some kind of heat application. Um, Misa says, I wish I could do a wash and go. Everybody can do wash and goes, Misa. Everybody, okay? You need more giveaways. I need to be on that wall. <laughs> Karen, <laughs> yes. Um, Angela, we were launching a shampoo conditioner late December, early January, so it's coming. All right, you guys, so where's my paper for the next giveaway? Oh, I love it. I'm going back to the front to get my paper, okay? I'm prepared. Oh, I said I was doing a number. 
I don't remember what the number is. All right, you guys, get ready. So all, I, all you gotta do to win this one, oh, I gotta skip through a bunch of messages. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Okay, so I'm thinking of a number from one to 100, and you just have to put that number down to be the winner. That is it. That is all you have to do, and you can start now. The first person I see with that number will be my winner. And please know that Facebook does not show me everything as you see it. So do not be angry with me if I don't put your number, call your number, it's not my fault, I promise you, I'm being as honest as I can be. So it's not 77, it's not 71, and you can only put one number and one message, y'all. I know some people like to do like one through 100 and one message, it's like, girl, I at least, you know I put it in there. <laughs> I love the hair, thank you, thank you. Thanks, Deborah. I'm sorry, thanks, Luanda. Uh, Yes, come on with the numbers. I might go back and read some comments, but I'm gonna go back and read some comments so I can, um, so I can just, you know, <clears throat> answer. Oh, don't forget you guys, everybody's a winner. You get 20% off tonight uh, if you use the code CHOCOLATE, and only until midnight, okay? Only until midnight. Deborah, Deborah is not playing, y'all. She put five numbers in already. She is quick, okay? Quick, quick, quick. Yes, okay, you guys. Oh, and what is this person going to win? This person, is going to win. Oh, this is a good one. This is a really good one. Um, well, should I save this one? Nah, I'm gonna just go ahead. Oh, Renee, Renee! I see Renee. Renee wrote three, you guys. Renee Hirsch, she's our winner. Okay, three is the number. Don't be mad at me. Three is the number. Okay, everybody congratulate Renee. And see, that didn't take all like the 50 minutes to get that winner, right? Everybody congratulate Renee. Yes, your hair is gorgeous as always. Oh, thank you, Charlena. I do it for y'all. This is a three-day-old wash and go for me? Yep, three-day. All right, let's see. Yay, Renee. Okay, so what did Renee win? So Renee won. I'm going to turn it around for you guys. Renee won our rose tip collection, you guys. So she's going to get, um, and this is the most expensive um, gel on our website. It has a flaxseed gel with organic aloe vera and rose tip oil. So it's going to be extra hydrating. Uh, and then the pure avocado moisture was organic rosehip oil as well. And then you know, let me see some hearts if you guys love rosehip oil. Because y'all know rosehip oil is the good stuff, okay? It's expensive. It's, um, it's high in vitamins. It's just really amazing for your hair. Yes? Yes? And let me see. Are y'all ready for another giveaway? So this giveaway, the next one, right? All you have to do is tell me why you love Chromex. I'm going to read as many as I can read, and I'm going to pick my favorites. And it's up to me. It's just up to me. I just get to pick. It's just like that. <laughs> so there's no numbers. All you have to do is write why you love Chromex. Yes? Begin. I love that smell of the rose hip. Thank you, Sonia. Thank you. Marlene says, yes. Crystal says, yes, we are. Congrats, Renee. Yes, congrats, Renee. And don't forget, you have to share to win. So if you have not shared and you are playing to win, you got to share in order to win. Oh, and don't forget, use the code, forget to use the code chocolate for 20% off tonight. Yes? You get 20% off the entire site uh, if you use the code chocolate, except on subscription options. Um, because it's the bomb.com. Thanks, Ebony. That's why you love Chromix. Um, because your hair is three days old. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. I like my hair. It's really thick. I have all the hair. I have like enough for probably two people uh, on my head. <laughs> Ellen says, I'm loving Chromix because it makes the washing your process so much more easy. Thank you, Ellen. And the next giveaway, everybody can participate in. So we do about two giveaways specifically for Chromixers and the other four are for anybody. Anybody who's ever tried Chromix or wants to try Chromix or it's for everybody. Um, Shalonda says, um, I really love Chromix because of the great reviews. Oh, thank you. Yes, our people leave rave reviews. Um, Carolyn says, Chromix gives me consistent wash and goes with day two looks. Thank you, Carolyn. I know sometimes people like the day one because day one's like super defined and it's not necessarily the look you're going for. Um, Julia says, love the softness and it's all natural. Thank you. Kayla says, I love Chromix because the product is reliable and natural and keeps my little princess bouncing all day. Aw, I love that. I love when people use Chromix on like the whole family because to me that's like, that's the, the goal, right? Nobody's trying to buy four different lines for their whole house, right? Um, best natural products that actually work, says Crystal. Your products do what they say they will do. That's a plus. Thank you. Tammy says, because it's all organic and uh, organic and works on all hair types. Deborah says, because of you, the first time I received your email, I knew it was a great product. You and your hubby make me proud. Aw, thank you. He's going to be on one of these wash and go soon, I promise. He's just, it's easier for him to wash the baby while we do it, so... 
Kristen says because it allows us not to have to do our hair every day since using curl mix, my styles last longer and are so soft. Thank you. Paula says, I love the simplicity of curl mix. It's so easy to use. Chanel says, because it lets my daughter love her hair and I can teach her how to be proud of her natural. Chanel, you're going to be one of our winners today. You get, and what do you get, Chanel? What do you get? And I just got to pick Chanel because I like Chanel, okay? I like what she wrote. I don't know her. Um, I just like what she wrote. Her daughter loves it, and she gets to be proud of her natural hair. Um, and so let's see, what does, what are you winning? Chanel is going to be the proud winner or the proud new owner. Uh-oh, let me turn around, there we go. Of our sampler box. Yes, so she gets them all. She gets the whole, what is it, the kitten caboodle? She gets everything, a sample of all of our gels. Let me see some hearts if you guys like that, yes? Oh, because of how honest and vulnerable you are with your business emails. Thank you, Tony. Curl makes even more of my curly weave. Uh, those are even shit popping. <laughs> Jennifer, <laughs> I like that one. Everybody, congratulate Chanel Curtis, yes? And so, Chanel, in order to claim your prize, email us at infowithcurlmix.com and take a screenshot at the end of this live, and you will be the recipient of our sample box. I'm going to read through some more of these, even though I've chosen a winner because I've been known to pick a second winner just because I want to, okay? Um, Tiffany says, with Curl Mix, I love that everyone can do a wash and go. I never like to do wash and goes because they never come out right. This product makes it possible for any hair type. That's amazing. Tiffany, you're going to be our second winner. All right. All right. All right, you guys. I know it's a few more responses. I'm just going to read them, but I, I'm done picking the winners for that one, okay? All right. Um, Courtney says, Chromex finally gave me the confidence to wear my hair natural um, or never look right without clipping some parts down. Wash and go for life. Yes. Courtney says, I, um, I love Chromex because you're the owner and so humble and you actually teach people how to be successful with your products. Teaching is the key. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is literally the only product that has allowed me to wear my hair in a wash and go and I can finally let my hair be free. Thank you. D-Love says, it's not fake and actually works and it's better than as seen on TV. Aww. All right, you guys, there are a lot of comments. I'm not going to get to all of them. I am so sorry. We are going to go check on Aisha, and I have, um, I think I have two more giveaways. Let me see in my notes. Mm. Oh, yes, I have a good one. I have two more giveaways, you guys. Yes, two more giveaways. One is for curl mixers, and one is for everybody. Uh, everybody, okay? Let me see some hearts. And don't forget to share if you guys want to win. And don't forget 20% off and use the code CHOCOLATE tonight, okay? Yes? All right, Aisha, we're back. Hey, I've been reading, I've been reading you guys' responses and questions. I did answer a couple of them. Oh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Anything you were reading and you're like, oh, I definitely want to address this? Uh, let's see. Let me go back and make sure. Somebody else. Somebody says, I'm loving these while I've watched more videos. I uh, have watched the past two weeks and have learned tons from you guys. Yes, we learned so much. I skipped some comments before and I'm going to scroll all the way back up. Yeah, I think you got to scroll all the way back because it was some, I can go back any further than when I. Oh, you're right. Facebook see. limits how much I can see. Oh, no, me too. Oh, okay. I just came in later. Uh, Danielle says, have you thought about having products she on Chrome? Help me, my wash and goes never work and I just want to wear my hair out. So. You might need to evaluate the shampoos and conditioners that you're using. Also, your technique and your application uh, has, it's more about your technique and application, but you need to create a great canvas, meaning cleanse and condition the hair properly so that you can build on to the hair to create dope wash and go. So a wash and go just- I think you have like some hair on your chin. Yep, okay. there we go. I was like, I was going to pull it. I was like, please don't like, actually be a hair on her chin. <laughs> that was, I was I like, know. if I can't get it out, I'm like, oh my gosh. You know, I'm, <laughs> I'm over <laughs> You want to create a great base for it. And a great base means that the hair has to be clean and free of any oil, dirt, debris buildup, environmental stuff that gets on your hair. So the idea that conditioner can do that is ridiculous because conditioner doesn't have enough surfactants to remove those things. So Crystal said, is there an age limit? Our grandson has very curly hair, lives in Vegas, and his hair is always dry. He's three. So Crystal, um, I would always recommend doing a patch test on your child because sometimes people are sensitive to different things. Like I'm actually sensitive to marshmallow root um, extract, which is not normal for most people. So I always recommend doing the patch test, but I do use our products on my 10 month old. So, you know, that, but he's not sensitive to it. And I know it's safe for him. Um, and we have very minimal ingredients. So, um, mm -hmm. so, 
Yeah. <laughs> my son is actually allergic to a cosmetic ingredient. Ah. Which is phenoxanol or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's phenoxanol something. Yeah. He's allergic to it, so now I had to remove everything that happened in it before oh. I used it on him. So I have, like I almost have to be sort of natural with him. Yeah. But not really, but yeah. at the same time I have to check. Um, it's actually I is it phenoxyethanol? It's a, it's, it's in most like, pre- it's in most preservatives. It's in most, it's in most products. It is a preservative. But yeah. In the UK, I believe it's banned. Really? Because it, a lot of people are allergic to it, mm. so they don't allow it. If I'm not mistaken. It's not allowed. I have to check it because it's, it's pretty much every natural hair product that I've seen. Because yeah. it's more, it's a broad, broad spectrum preservative or it makes up a broad spectrum preservative. So I have another client that's allergic to it. And that's how I learned about it. Because mm. she had, um, she has scaling mm-hmm. on her scalp. And she couldn't figure out. She had been to every dermatologist. You mm-hmm. can imagine. And nobody could figure it out. And she's talking to another person who had the same allergy and removed all those products where she was literally shampooing her hair every three days. Because mm-hmm. as soon as she was shampooing, the scales would start coming back on her scalp. Gotcha. And so she removed all those products from I'm sorry, we got all into yeah, the that's industry, a... but I'm just, I'm sharing yeah. to say that like, there's different things. It could be a ingredient or it could be a cosmetic ingredient mm-hmm. that can cause an allergy. Gotcha. Okay. So, um, and Elise is um, mm-hmm. addressing Courtney's question. Yeah, so, because she's in there. So, thank you, Elise. We appreciate that. Um, yes, we really appreciate that. So, let me keep going. How do I keep my daughters from stealing my products? We're all natural. <laughs> Stephanie, yeah, Ray, <laughs> come to more Washing Go Wednesdays so you can win more free products and you can just give it to them. That's, that's my recommendation. Tell her um, she has the coupon code. Tell her she has to midnight. And Basilia, she said she was trying to mix chicks, but she would love to try our products. Basilia, just check them out. Go to curlings.com. Use the 20% off. It's a huge discount um, on our products. Yes. Let's see. Um... I feel like, Courtney said, I feel like my hair is long retaining growth like I want. Does this have anything to do with wearing my hair out all the time? You wear it out all the time or you don't wear it out? She does. So I guess um, maybe she's like if somebody wears no, wash and goes every day. Like, no, no, no. Um, if you're not cutting your hair like you're supposed to, that can really um, have an impact on your retaining length. No matter what we do, if we take care of our hair, we don't take care of our hair, the hair is growing up to a half an inch a month. And I know this because I'm doing color and I can see the growth in my hair. In fact, there's probably already roots that I did this color like three weeks ago. Um, but the hair is always growing. You can, when we actually pass away and go to the other side, the hair is still growing. And oh, wow. I didn't yeah, know that. Let me see some hair. heart. That's new information for you guys because yeah, that's new information growing. for me. What we have to do is work on retaining the length. Um, that means getting proper haircuts or staying on your maintenance schedule. That means, uh, I know some of y'all like to finger detangle out there. I'm not a finger detangler. I don't even recommend my clients to do it on themselves because they always jack it up. They mm. always end up with a jacked up patch of hair. Yeah. It's always in the back. Um, and there's always breakage back there because once people get to this back part, they're like, I was tired. <laughs> right, 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 right. So using tools to actually detangle your hair. Then, if, you know, if you're having problems with your tool, then, you know, maybe uh, making some changes with the conditioner that you're using because hair should be detangled when there's conditioner on there. I know some people don't know this. Most of y'all do. But hair should always be detangled when there is conditioner on it. Janine says, is there a short expiration date on your products? No, our products will last uh, a year or more, potentially two, uh, based on the preservative that we use, but we need more testing around the two-year shelf life. Um, Kaylin says, you should do a mini documentary on your testimony as an entrepreneur, women of color, and et cetera, uh, how Chromex has evolved from a do-it-yourself subscription box um, to a brand of gels, moisturizers that keeps, uh, keeps curls. Oops, dang. I didn't get to finish reading it. It just, it just kind of scrolled down to the bottom. But yes, I like that idea, Caitlin. I do, I do, I do. Um, oh, folks are replying to each other. I appreciate that, you guys. Thank you for helping some folks out. Yes, this is good. Um, Oh, it was like five replies back to back. Um, I have been natural for over 12 years now. I had locks for nine of those and finally learning how to take care of my hair. So glad I found you both. Thanks, Michaela. We're happy to have found you. Sean says, thanks for making me a believer of your products. Thank you. Luanda says, wash and goes even in the winter months. Luanda, I do wash and I launched the gel last October. So people were doing wash and goes you know, had no problem. We launched it for the first time and we're like selling out. So um, I- and I used to be a person who thought that wash and goes were seasonal. 
Mm. Um, it's not if they're seasonal. It's how you're drying them. Right. If your if your air is drying it, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna no, be seasonal. No to the no no. Right. But hair dryers are life, guys. I'm sorry for the people who don't agree, but hair dryers are life. So the only thing you need to do is dry the outside of your wash and go. You can let the rest of it air dry, that inside part, because you really don't want to sit under the dryer um, until the entire head is dry, um, because it'll create frizz. So, I'm moving around because I need to get spots that the dryer is in <laughs> So, you guys, I have two more giveaways to do. And we only got, how much we got? We got seven minutes left. Okay. okay. I should be coming from a So, I'm going to do my giveaways, and then you're going to stay tuned for Aisha's results. Okay? Can I see some hearts? You guys want to see Aisha's hair? Yes? Um, and I'm going to do my last two giveaways. I'm going to show you guys what you're going to win. And don't forget to share. And the code for 20% off tonight is chocolate. All right, you guys? Cool. So, we are going to be giving out our second most popular product, which is our hemp bundle, you guys. So, this one smells like watermelon, and it has hemp seed oil in it. So, we have our pure flaxseed gel with organic hemp seed oil and watermelon fragrance. And then we have our pure avocado moisturizer, which is its cousin, and, or should I say sister? Yes, our, its sister, um, with hemp seed oil and watermelon fragrance as well. All right, you guys? So, to win this one, um, I'm going to ask this question. Now, y'all going to think I'm crazy and it's not really hair related it's more to do with business but it's okay because I'm sure y'all read these things too so who was on the cover and this is a trivia question who was on the cover of fast company for September hmm hmm what's what's their name yes and so the reason this is important is because this woman was one of the um was our first and only, currently only investor. Um, they invest in minority um, companies, and so basically like women-owned businesses. <laughs> no, it's not Oprah. <laughs> this person I know personally. Um, they invested in our business, and they invested in other underrepresented founders. Um, no, I definitely was not on Fast Company K, but thank you. I appreciate the thought. Not Issa Rae, <laughs> not me, Kaylin. No, you guys. Um, but she's done wonderful things. Yes, Yakeisha Arlen Hamilton. You are our winner, Yakeisha. Everybody clap it up for Yakeisha. Yes. Yes. So basically, she invests in underrepresented founders, people who are usually overlooked with their businesses and their ideas, so that they can have a chance because we get like less than 2% or 1% of capital. It's some, it's some disgraceful number. Um, and she's making sure that we change that number. So I want to do big ups to Arlen. So I don't know if anybody sees this. Share the live with her. But yes, so you are our winner. Because you are our winner, make sure to screenshot at the end of this video um, that you to show us you've watched the whole live and then email us at info at curlmix.com. Okay? And our last giveaway is for our curl mixers. So if, after you uh, purchase your curl mix, you get an invite to our private Facebook group. And every uh, Wednesday before we go live, I post a secret word there. At the count of 10, on my countdown, I want you to write what that word is, okay? Okay? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. What's that word, you guys? What's that word? And let me show you guys what you guys are gonna get. Yes? So we have our Argan. Our Argan wash and go set, you guys. You're gonna get our pure flaxy gel with Argan oil and lemon cream fragrance, and our pure avocado moisture with Argan oil and lemon cream fragrance. <laughs> Yolanda, yes, Yolanda. Yolanda's a true curl mixer. Yolanda be here for everything. The word is color treated which is the theme of tonight's Wash and Go Wednesday. Everybody give us some hearts for Yolanda, yes? Thank you, Yolanda. I'm pretty sure we featured her in one of our emails before. She does her hair amazingly well, and we love it. So Yolanda's our first, Yolanda, Yolanda Cummings is our first winner, you guys, or our last winner for tonight. Awesome. And so I'm gonna turn it back to Aisha so you guys can see her hair. So my hair is actually about, on this side, it's probably like, 75% dry. This part right here, the dryer can't get. So I would either uh, diffuse this part and get it, like get the outside part dry, or just let it air dry and go on with the day. It's like <laughs> so. Like it depends on what I have to do. If I have somewhere I'm trying to be, I gotta go. I'm actually going to take the diffuser and start doing some fluffing because I like I actually like my hair to be really big anyway. 
And I want it to be totally set because if I had somewhere to go, I'll be moving around and doing a lot of stuff. And I wouldn't want to take the hair out of the set, creating more frizz. So again, what air drying does is take the hair out of the set. All the moving actually like causes frizz. So like, you know, you do simple stuff like turn your head, moving your hair out of the set. You're driving, you're looking, trying to change legs, you're moving your hair out of the set. When you move your hair like this, you're moving it out of the set. So that actually, all that moving causes the hair to hike up and shrink, hike up and shrink, hike up, which is why most of the time uh, people have most or have the most shrinkage when they air dry the hair versus when they sit in the dryer, the hair is like, quack, quack, it's locked exactly where it is. And right. No opportunity to shrink up. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes a lot of sense. I had a lot more length when I came to at least get my wash and go cut than when I do it at home with a diffuser or with a blow dryer. So that's very true. Yeah, so honey hair dryers, they, they're, okay, you're not going to get this fancy one, although a couple of my clients have asked me exactly where I got this hair. Oh, <laughs> they ain't playing. Like, that is so funny. Professional hair dryer, you do not have to spend this much money on a hair dryer. There are some very reasonably priced hair dryers that you can get at different um, retailers, even your local beauty supply store, because I actually got mine from a local beauty supply store for about $125. Totally worth it. It rolls. I sit under it. My son, if y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all know I put my son under the hair dryer. <laughs> he sits under there for about 15 minutes and he gets a much better set. <laughs> that is so dry. funny. In fact, when I shampoo his hair and I, he gets out the tub, he goes, my hair dryer I guess sit under the hair dryer he knows what the, what the deal is <laughs> all right you guys so it is it is time thank you for joining Yay. yes and don't forget every order tonight gets a curl mix tote and let me just let me show you guys the tote one more time because <laughs> I feel like I didn't show you the tote very much, but every order tonight is going to get a free tote with it. Um, and then our, our winners, make sure you screenshot right after I close out of this live so you can claim your prize because we really do send you your products, okay? So let me just show you guys real quick. That is the tote you're going to get, and it's pretty sizable. Look at that. It is pretty big compared to the box, right? And you're going to get that completely free with your order. Um, make sure you use the code CHOCOLATE to get 20% off until midnight. And thank you for joining. Aisha, you got any last words? I'm gonna come right back so you can say hi. <laughs> um, if you guys want to follow me, I am on Instagram and on Facebook as Chocolate Curls Beauty. I'm also, again, the co-founder of Black Girl Curls, which you can also follow on Instagram. It's called I Am Black Girl Curls. Um, and like, yeah, if, oh, you, if you wanna know anything about what I do, I'm a um, stylist. I am a digital stylist, actually, as yes. well. Um, you can join us. Um, sign up to our newsletter at blackcurlmagic.com. We do send out dope newsletters every week about different things, uh, all about curls and tight curls specifically. So if you're interested, you can follow. Yes, and make sure to share the love. Share this live if you feel like your friends could benefit from it, especially if they're interested in color or wearing their hair in this naturally curly state. And color doesn't ruin curls. <laughs> color doesn't ruin curls. <laughs> Maintenance does. <laughs> All right, you guys, have a good night. Thank you for joining. See you next Wednesday. Bye.